everyone, so I have my best friend Tyler here with me today, and we have a bunch of our recent favorites, which um, we're going to be reviewing for you today, and we're going to call this series Recent Raves, um, courtesy of us thinking for the past 30 minutes of trying to come up with something to call it, and then texting our friend Bella and asking for her idea. We have our caramel apple spices here because we decided that we'd be really homey and sit in like the homey corner of my house my with, with, <laughs> we're homies. with um, mugs of warm deliciousness and then our product sitting right here. Save this four dollars if you want to start with. Yeah, okay, so Homemade. yes, all you have to do to get a caramel apple spice if you like the drink is get the cinnamon dolce syrup from um, Starbucks, which is $8 for one of those big giant size um, pumps, and then just get apple juice. And then you mix them together, like you would put, like, if you have a mug like this size, you would put um, three caps, capfuls of the cinnamon dolce into the mug of apple juice, and then it tastes exactly it the same. It tastes identical. It's so good. So mm. buttery. So yummy. So fall. So fall. So Christmassy. Okay. So I guess we can go ahead and get into Jump right in. the reviewing. So I'll start off. I recently colored my hair, if you haven't noticed. I have this huge blonde strip right here, and then back here I have like a burgundy brown, which is actually going to be a violet color. It was supposed to be originally, but it didn't turn out how we wanted it to, so we're going to have to redo it. Um, but I got a shampoo for color treated hair from Wella Professionals, and it's part of the Brilliance line, and it's shampoo for fine to normal colored hair. And this is what the back says, it helps to enhance brilliance of colored hair. This light shampoo leaves even fine hair full of vitality, shine, and free-flowing movement with diamond dust. Ooh, interesting. Fancy. Yeah, fancy. Maybe that shine. And this smells like... Tyler says... What do you think it smells like? It smells like kiwis. Apple. Yeah, apple. apples. It does smell That's like apples. Fresh, like a green apple. It smells like fruit and heaven and angel kisses. Like, it smells okay. so good. And I have a very sensitive scalp, so um, I was kind of nervous to try a new product, but this does not irritate it at all. Not because either. that's something I have that he doesn't have, and this is something that he has that I don't have. Tyler? I love this so much. Okay, it's the Natura Bise Barcelona no. Hand Natura Silk. Natura Bise. Natura Bise. This is a hand cream hand silk. I have used so many hand creams in my life. And they're all like whatever. So I tried this. It's waterproof, which is really cool. It's a waterproof hand cream. She said it's really good for nurses if you wash your hands a lot. And I work at Sephora too, so I'm always like washing my hands, sanitizing my hands, and they're so freaking dry. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I don't know what it smells like. It kind of smells baby powdery. Yeah, it smells very clean. Like I guess all of Natura Bise, all their lines smells like this, but honestly, when you put it on, it doesn't even feel like greasy at all. Like no. I don't know what it is. It, like it has like hydrolyzed silk in it or something, so it like makes your hands so soft. Like instantly, if my hands are like tight and like feeling gross, I put just a teeny bit of this one. You like twist it and then has like a hole in the bottom. Yeah, you probably can't see that. I don't think you can see that or something. Anyways, right. yeah, there's a hole right here, I promise. And you just need a teeny bit. I have used this like three, four times a day and I have like this much left. I just got it like how long ago? Two, three weeks ago? I mean, that's lasted me a long time. And About three weeks ago. I really like this. It was 38. Yeah. It was 38. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. So there goes my son. I'll use his. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this is like, I give it five stars. Five stars? I really like it. Like, I find myself using this a lot. Should we do that? Should we star it? Stars one to five? Star the product? This is a five stars. I have tried many other hand creams. Five stars. So this is Retread from Lush, and I had decided that I needed to get a deep conditioner because I was all out, and since I was coloring my hair, I was going to need something that was super nourishing. And I have heard from a lot of other beauty gurus on YouTube that this is a really good one. And so let's go ahead and smell it. It smells, yeah, it does smell weird, but it smells I like, smell. it smells like earth and ground. I don't know. <laughs> earth and ground. It's very earthy, like, I don't know. Yeah, there was something like, I'm fine with it, like, okay, and this is, um, oh no, this is It smells like, it smells like clean dirt, but it, 
<laughs> that has like a mus like a musk smell yeah. to it. It almost smells like paper. Yeah. It's really weird. Like it's like a strong, but in a good way. Like it's clean, yeah, it smells good. Earthy, it smells very earthy. Um, and what it says it says, been naughty to your locks. Grab a generous scoop of our soya milk and fresh melon conditioner to revive, soften, and moisturize over processed or damaged hair. My hair is definitely over processed, but I take care of it in between coloring so it doesn't look dead or fried or gross. Because I'm very strict about it. And um, I really like this. My only complaint about it, I would have to say, is that I feel like, because it's not a thick, it doesn't feel thick, like it feels like a normal um, conditioner. I feel like this is going to run out really fast, like I've used it twice. I don't know if you guys can see the difference between the black and the white. Um, but I feel like I'm not going to get much use out of this one jar. But we'll see. Um, so because of that, I am going to give it four stars. This is the infamous YSL Sheer Candy. Let me get it. Because it's so pretty, you need to see. Looks like this. Is it going to focus? There we go. Look at how pretty this packaging is. And it looks like this. What it is, basically. They say it's a lip balm, lip balm like a glossy balm. I don't know what. The only downside is, I would say, if I don't like eat or drink or anything, sitting on my lips, it lasts like 30 minutes. That's really? the only downside, yeah. It doesn't last very long on my lips, but I don't mind reapplying because it's so pretty. So I'll just like whip it out. Pop it out. Pop it out all the time and use it. So I would give it about four stars because the lasting power isn't that great. And for $30, I wish it was, but it's a good little like spoil me. One we have is, yeah, again, another Lush product. Half of the stuff we have up here is Lush. And this is the tea tree water, the toner water. And it says, antibacterial tea tree, astringent grapefruit, and balancing juniper berry keeps disasters at bay. Beneficial for anyone with oil or, or spot-prone skin. Um, I don't wash my face in the morning. I know that sounds weird. Um, but one of the girls that works at Sephora is an esthetician. And look how I'm holding it. Get like the people QVC, yeah. Um, but she told me that since I don't have necessarily problematic skin, that I don't need to wash my face in the morning. So instead, I just use a toner to like take off any of the dirt that I had from sleeping and um, any of the oil that is produced. And a good thing about tea tree is that it also helps to absorb oil really, really well. So I'm finding in the past week since I've had this that my foundations are staying on a lot better, like especially around like my nose and on my chin and on my forehead, which I really, 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 really like. Um, this has a, it has a very earthy scent too. It's like a tea tree. It, it smells, smells like kind tea of tree. like, it's, to yeah, it kind of smells like water and like fresh, like water, like, oh, like right after it rains. Right after like it rains. Like if you're, yeah, like if you're in like a very like gardened area, like right after <laughs> it rains, that's what it smells like. It smells really good, though. That's a really good description of it. I'm proud of myself for that. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? Right after it rains. Mm-hmm. Rainbows and sunshine. It smells like, like eucalyptus-ish. Yeah. It's very, very, very citrusy. It smells like tea tree. If you smell tea tree, it smells like tea tree. Tea and tree the, smells like nothing else. And the good thing about toners is that they are anti-aging because they do um, tighten and hydrate your skin. So um, I always use a toner in the morning, and then I use it at night as well. So that is a five stars from me. And Tyler yeah. has it too, actually. I like it too. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I found I'm not as oily with it because I'm like Grease City. I will like do all my makeup. I'll be all good. I'll drive to work, which is like a 15 minute drive. And I have to blot already. It's insane. But I found I can go a little bit longer. I could say like an hour without blotting, which for me is a big, big deal because I'm always greasy, unfortunately. He likes to block. But I would give it a five. I like it. It smells good. It's refreshing. I will definitely buy the bigger size. It dries size. down nice. It doesn't leave like a stickiness or yeah. anything. Surprise, surprise. It's another Lush product. Now, she, this is Kristen's. We're borrowing hers because I have yet to buy mine. But I'm like he got a sample. waiting for he Friday to run to the mall to get this. What it is is the Lush Rose Argon Body Conditioner. When they said it was a body condition i'm like that's so stupid like what's the point of that it's essentially like lotion you put on in the shower when you're wet and you rinse it off it's like that's so stupid but he's like no let me make you a sample of it 
So, like the name says, rose argon, it's argan oil in rose. Now, first off, the smell is like what? Like, intoxicated my life. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Like, mm. obviously it's rose, but it's like succulent. Kind of lavender. Very juicy. Like, I kind of want to lick it, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that because well, it that would be a waste. Well, it smells. Yes, and it would be a waste. Plus, it'd be a waste. And that one's mine. So what it is, basically body conditioner. So what you do is after you wash your body, you like scoop out like, say like a quarter size amount, rub it and you just rub it all over. And I usually let it sit while I wash my face or something with like my Clarisonic, you know, let it sit for a minute, then I rinse it off. It seriously makes your body so soft and the scent seriously lasts on your skin. I really like this, like 10,000 stars. I'm like 10, waiting 000. to get paid so I can run to the mall and buy this because I'm almost out of my sample. I've been rationing it. And I believe this <sighs> jar is $30. Which is not bad. It's 8.4 ounces. But let me just show you. I've had this since Christmas. My mom bought this for me for Christmas. And I use it all the time. And that's... It's almost been a year. How much I have. It's yeah. It's almost been a year? I've had it for oh a long gosh. time. And I use it... I don't use it um, every time I shower. But I use it like maybe two or three times a week. That's And crazy. that's all I have. I'm like, I have all of that left. Like, it's insane like, it and it's like so a phenomenal product like my skin is so soft so soft okay and then the next thing that we have is the essential reason we decided we were going to make this video today the holy grail the holy grail of all lip balms is the bam the christian dior creme de rose and i know you're all thinking like god bougie is like bougie much like no seriously this is the best lip balm i have <sighs> ever, ever used in my life, and I, I have used a lot of them. I read the reviews after we bought this when I was at work, I got online, and every single review was like, like five stars, like this is amazing, this holy is a must grail. have product, like holy grail of all lip balms, like this is it. Like so and, many reviews, yeah. people were like, I am on my seventh pot of this, yes. I am on like my tenth pot of this, I've been buying this for 20 years, I've been buying this since I was like 19. Yeah. And they're like 40 or something, you know? Yeah, it's been it's out like for a while. Like It's like one of those lip balms that you like repurchase and repurchase for life. Like you always have. No I have to have it. All the time. All day, every day. It's great. Basically. basically. All day, every day. All day, every day. We're but on anyway. that Christian Dior flow. So, yes, we're on that Christian Dior <laughs> flow. That life. It smells good. It smells like fresh and clean. But um, the There's one no thing I wanted to like explain about it is that when it says plumping it doesn't make your lips bigger um because i really don't like plumping products like i already have really full lips um so i hate things that actually physically plump and tingle um this does not tingle but when they say plump they don't mean that it makes your lips bigger they mean that it fills like it plumps up the lines that i start like that are in your lips so they look like more smooth that's what they mean when they say plumping but she the has lady the yeah. Fuller. Yeah. And not the lady like at the counter explained that to us children. too. And so when I got on the reviews, people were like, I don't know about the plumping. And I was like, no, you're looking at it all wrong. That's not the kind of plumping it does. So uh, out of five stars, I give this five million. Oh, yeah. We'll Easy. repurchase it. There Easy. There is no downside to this. Easiest stuff. buy ever. Thing Easiest I thing say. I could hand over my cart to the lady to buy wow. is this. Like, hands down, the best thing on the so we're standing at the counter and we're talking to the lady and I was like thinking, oh, I kind of want it. And so it was Tyler. And so then he looked at me and he goes, I'll buy it if you buy it. And then I looked at him and I said, well, I'll buy it if you buy it. And then we pinky promised on it that we weren't we going to like, like chicken out. And then we did it and we just bought it. And best decision, best impulse decision I've ever made in my life. Normally I regret my impulse buys. Yeah. I'll normally. return them. Or it's like just be sad like about it. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so we're rambling still, so we are going to go. It's a wrap. And, yeah, we will talk to you guys soon. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.